So the next seam finish we're going to do is what we call a pinked finish and a pinked and stitched finish. So we have our plain seam that we have sewn and pressed, and now we're going to do the seam finish to that. So what we want to do is we want to take our special set of pinking shears. So pinking shears are a special set of scissors or shears that have triangular wedges rather than a straight bar for cutting. So we are going to take those and we can cut through both layers of seam allowance at one time. So we're going to just go as close to the edge as we can and trim the edge with our pinking shears. As we do that, we now have a triangular wedged edge versus the straight edge. That will help keep our seams from raveling during laundering because of the triangular wedges. Take the yarns and cut them at different sizes so that they are less likely to ravel. Now to make that even more secure of a seam finish, we can do what we call a pinked and stitched. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a plain seam close to our pinked edge just through the one layer of our seam allowance. So again, we're gonna lower our presser foot, we're going to back stitch, and then we're going to stitch down the fabric through the one layer of seam allowance close to the pinked stitching edge. When we get to the end, we're gonna back stitch. And then we can cut our threads. Open our fabric back up. So on one side, we have just a pinked seam finish. The other side, we have pinked and stitched.